How is XBank doing on the European market? I'm Thomas from Autogefühl, exclusively for Inside XBank. And today we are at a special event in Hillerøy, Denmark, close to Copenhagen at the XBank Experience Center. XBank is communicating with its European customers and also launching a very important software update over the air, of course. And we're going to have a look how this is all working out and how the brand is doing on the European market. Let's take a look. And I've also just met Casper. He is one of the very early XPeng owners here in Denmark. So actually you could have gone for any other brand, but you did choose XPeng. Why did you do it? I actually went up here, tried the G9, and I was blown away. For me, it ticks all boxes about comfort, quality feel, and the most important thing, technology. So events like these here are not that very common among the manufacturers that they take direct feedback from the customers. What do you think about that? Yeah, I think it's a very good idea because this is also where I got secured making this choice. It's a lot of money actually. Uh, and they were very interested in listening to the customers driving the cars on a daily basis. I see uh, it got a totally new expression visually. That's, uh, that's, I like that design, but also the updates on the uh, LCC and ACC, the ADAS, that's uh, a big thing for me. Now I'm with Hai Ning. He actually came all the way from China here to Denmark. He's also a G9 owner and also a Chinese influencer. So Hai Ning, why did you actually come over and what is your experience here in Denmark so far? I feel that the Danish customer is very happy to like our small car. Because of course, this is an OTA activity. So he is very interested in the technology part. I think the customer is very interested in the technology part. So we already talked about, for example, the different preferences between Chinese yeah. customers, European customers. What are the main differences between the Chinese customers and the European customers? Yeah. Chilangchanduchi. 就是他确实把这个智能驾驶这个事儿当做一个买车是重要的决策条件了。就如果你真的做的不好，他可能就压根就不会考你这辆车了。I think what's very different about the European market for us as a new brand in Europe is the brand awareness. In Denmark, we've been very fortunate that they are already very aware of it. Last year, the G9 was actually the most sold big SUV in our market. Our technology is extremely strong. Compared to China, where Xpong has now been present for, for 10 years, we've not reached that yet in Europe, but we're on our way to reaching that very soon. The product is the brand and vice versa, right? And we truly believe that at Xpong. And that's why we focus so much on actually taking user feedback and implementing it into the products. So I've just been here on a test ride with the new software version and I'm kind of impressed of how much has been done in a short period of time. So just one year ago I was driving the G9 and there were a lot of alarms going off and it was sometimes very annoying. And now in just a couple of months actually, you can turn off the alarms very easily, you just get a pop-up and then you can turn off what is maybe annoying you and also the, like, the lane keeping assist and also the, how the ACC is working has actually been totally reprogrammed to be more suitable for the European roads and that is now working actually very well. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll have some more fun now. <laughs>